Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel, my name is Luis and if you found this video probably you are trying to install macOS Ventura on your Lenovo computer, on your Intel PC. So as you can see I have um, a macOS Monterey running really well and then I went for Ventura and after installation there was a problem because these graphics this GPU is not supported anymore so I was reading the, the internet and I found there is a patch open core legacy patcher that can patch those GPUs or this the system to to be able to run with Ventura so let's run the patch okay so as you can see it's detected that is a uh, as well uh, computer and I'm running the, the patch Ventura so this patch is also used to install Mac OS a new version on old old Macs and it works really well because I I done it to a friend of mine he owns a, a Mac Pro uh, and it's now running Ventura because the old, the latest was uh, Big Sur and now he's really happy because he's, he's running the the old the latest Mac OS Ventura and that's what we are doing here on the Lenovo and I, I can tell you it works really well okay so but probably you will face the same situation I was facing I was unable to run the patch because we need to to switch several things inside the, um, your your config p list so let's restart and check if the the patch the patch the open core patcher worked for my computer and so it will run the open core bootloader again and as i told you i have two i have monterey on the same ssd and I have this one which is uh, now macOS Ventura this if I I download it from Olerila which is a Brazilian Hackintosh community so I will not leave any links for download you google it Olerila um, and there will be if I is ready to download so I will not even bother to hide the, the serial number because I will change this one because this is the a default if I that everybody uses so if you do the same so change your serial name serial number because uh, you don't want to be blacklisted and and having your Hackintosh not working okay so as you can see the graphics is fully working everything is working really well so we don't need those the open core patcher anymore we can keep this, those files and as I'm showing you now it's detected the Intel HD and is working really nice okay so I will now so as you can check is Intel HD 4600 and it's working really well on Mac OS Ventura on Lenovo Core i7 and this is my Mac mini just to tell you this is not my main computer this is a, a small computer that I have as a backup on my setup and uh, I'm running Windows 11 Monterey and also Mac Ventura from the same SSD I'm running the the open core from a flash drive not for not messing with the Windows bootloader okay so I have open core running from a flash drive and it works really really well okay so don't don't forget if you do this operation uh, to if you use some uh, somebody else's if I just create a new serial number because you don't want to use the same serial number of other people uh, 
using okay so if everybody is using the same EFI probably there are several computers using the same serial number and could be a problem so that is my main machine this is the Lenovo and now I will record the screen because I want to I want you to see what I changed uh, inside the boot the 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 P list because we need to change some stuff otherwise the the patch will not be able to run because um, it requires those those things to be deactivated okay so I will maximize so in order to to mount your refi you can also use uh, open core configurator you mount your efi you open OC go to config point uh, dot p list okay and then uh, you you just need to to change some stuff on the NVRAM okay so you have three lines so look at the values I have because if you are unable to to run the patch probably you 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 got uh, some stuff blocking it so you need to change okay so one of those was this one amfi i a m f i it was uh, was on my way so i had to enter the that thing also the second line i didn't touch was already on the e5 but i believe it's mandatory in order to 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 be able to apply the patch okay so if you found this video useful if you successfully patched your macOS uh, Ventura and don't forget to leave a thumbs up uh, in this video if you have questions for me leave it in the comments I will try to answer everybody and consider to subscribe for new videos thank you and I catch you on a new one bye bye